Okay, here's another uh, legal question, um, and I love this question, and I know that you love answering this. Um, what is the danger to using, oh, I'm sorry, wrong one. Okay, why can't we sue due to harassment because of our religion or our creed? So when you send your kids to public school, unfortunately, you do give up some rights. And the especially in California and the Ninth Circuit, like Brenda Lebsack read off some of that language from case law and the ACLU loves to rub it in your face. But um, there aren't strong parental rights. So there's huge leeway for what curriculum the school chooses and what they're teaching our schools. And so we can't just sue and say, hey, you know, we don't like that because they're complying with the law and they have that right to do so. The government has the right to speak and has the right to speak through these different means. And, you know, public school is an arm of the government. So we can't sue them and say, well, you can't say that or, you know, we don't agree with it. There's no constitutional right against stupid laws like uh, the California Healthy Youth Act, unfortunately. case that she's referring to is the Fields versus Palmdale School District in 2005. That was the Ninth Circuit case. And that is a case that the ACLU use, uses repeatedly in school districts to uh, bring them into submission. I do want to ask you, though, to keep this in mind. I think it's October the 8th. A very important case is going to be heard on oral argument between, before the Supreme Court. Uh, there's a long list of plaintiffs against the Equal Opportunity Employment Agency, I think is what it's called, EEOC. Uh, and it's Bostwick et al. versus EEOC. But that, it's a consolidation of three different cases. And what the court is going to decide is whether sex in the Civil Rights Code 1964, Title VII specifically, includes sexual orientation and gender identity. This is probably the most significant case since the Obergefell decision of 2015, which legalized same-sex marriage. So the complexion of the Supreme Court has changed quite dramatically over the last couple of years. So if you want to storm the gates of heaven, such that the justices would decide the proper thing, I encourage you to do that. Thank you, Pastor Mark.